Hello there. Malzify is here. So today, I will make, for you guys, a challenge. So, don't yawn. While watching this video, now I will play video, and try to don't yawn. And if you're going to win, don't forget, to leave a like, and subscribe. So I could know, how many people, in this video, are strong. Okay. So are you ready? Let's begin. In 3, 2, 1. I challenge you to watch this whole video without yawning. <sighs> For many of you, seeing me yawn just now is enough to make you want to yawn too. But can you suppress it? <sighs> Already you could feel a tightening in the back of your throat, a moistness in the eyes, a gentle pressure in the ears, a tenseness that you know can be relieved with one simple yawn. Ugh. It's a biological impulse, the contagious yawn. Even seeing a picture of someone yawning with no sound or motion can be enough to induce a yawn. Or maybe you're one of those people who can read yawn or hear the word yawn, repeated yawn, and feel the need to yawn, yawn. But why is yawning contagious? Well, before we get into that, let me show you something. Uh, I'm sorry. It's like my throat was thirsty for air. Uh, I feel much better now. Uh. And that's exactly the point. A yawn calms you down. If you're a pack animal, contagious yawning puts the whole herd on a synchronized sleep schedule. Uh. <sighs> Of course, others say the exact opposite, that a yawn gives you a momentary jolt of energy, and contagious yawning can keep the group alert when one individual starts to get a little drowsy. Yep, I'm up. Feels good to yawn though, doesn't it? So good. Oh, so good. Whatever the reason, yawning remains a powerful neurological impulse, even across species. One study found that a human yawning can make a dog do the same. Now you may be saying, I have no idea what you're talking about. I could watch people and dogs yawn all day long and not feel that weird breathless feeling in my chest or a vague buzzing in my ears. And if that's the case, you very likely have a neurological disorder that inhibits the development of empathy like schizophrenia or autism. In fact, doctors use contagious yawning to diagnose these very conditions. Or maybe your doctor's just bored with you. I've got this thing on my back. <sighs> <sighs> But maybe you haven't yawned and you really want to. Maybe this whole ordeal has been agony for you, where you've wanted nothing more but to breathe deeply, stretch your jaw, and just yawn. And yes, it counts as a yawn if you do that weird thing where you try to yawn through one nostril. Or if you try to yawn without opening your mouth so you look like a frog that's about to vomit. But if you've truly resisted, then congratulations. You made it to the end of the video without yawning. You also put yourself in a lot of discomfort just because some stranger on the internet told you to, so I don't know who the real winner is here. I hope you won this challenge. Have a wonderful day, Mouse Pog.